All right, we have this problem here where we're given this two by two matrix and we want to find the eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and a basis for each eigenspace of A. And in the last video, we solved part A. We got the eigenvalues of this two by two matrix A to be six and negative two. And now for part B, we want to give an example of an eigenvector of A that has eigenvalue six. And we want to give an example of an eigenvector of A that has eigenvalue negative two. Um, that's part B. So to do that, let's plug in here. So if we know, we now we know lambda, so we can plug in and get the matrix A minus lambda I n. And then that's some matrix times V equals zero. And we know how to find solutions to the homogeneous equation. So let's do that. So to do this, we're going to break it up. First part is we're going to find the eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue equal to six. So when I'm keeping my work straight, I just kind of put in the corner. This is for lambda equals six. And then I say, a minus six times I two in this case, right? A is two by two times V equals zero. So we just need to find one example of a V that satisfies this. So what is this matrix? A minus six I two. That would be uh, three, 15, one, one, minus six times one, zero, zero, one, which is you're just taking away six from this entry and this entry. Do you see that? So this top left entry is three minus six is negative three, and then 15, one, and then here we do one minus six is negative five. And we're doing this times V equals zero, right? A minus lambda I N times V equals zero. These V's are the same V's over here that are eigenvectors. So watch the first video in this mini series if, if you're kind of like uh, fuzzy on, on why that is. But anyway, so we have A minus 6I2 times V equals 0. We just got to find a V. So by inspection, you guys are smart enough. You guys can do this. We just need a, a vector in R2 that um, when you multiply by this gets you 0, 0. So can't, can I just say V would have to be something like well, something times this vector plus something times this vector has to equal zero, zero. So it looks like this vector is um, negative one fifth of this vector. So I can say five times the first column plus um, one times the second column will get me zero, zero. Do you see how I just kind of by inspection was able to find V? This is like a shortcut way. This is because, just to be clear, negative three, one, 15, negative five times five one. I was picked this because I thought in my head that this is a linear combination of the columns of the matrix. So this is five times negative three one plus one times 15 negative five. You see how that gets me zero zero? Because negative 15 plus 15 is zero and then five minus five is zero. So that's the, the here's here's our answer. This is an eigenvector with eigenvalue six. And uh, should we check that? I wasn't planning to do this, but I think we should check this. So, so I'm saying that with this V, A times this vector should equal six times the vector. And so let's check that. So our original matrix A, if you remember, up here was three fifteen one one. So maybe this video will go a little longer, but that's okay. I think this is important. Three fifteen one one. This times V. 5, 1 should equal 6 times V. So let's check that. 5 times 3, 1 plus 1 times 15, 1 gets us. Let's see, 15 plus 15 is equal to 30. And then 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Do we agree that uh, 3, 1, 15, 1 times 5, 1? equals six times five one right thirty and six is equal to six times five one so this is a v equals lambda v do you see following this very straightforward process we were able to find first we found the eigenvalues are six and negative two but then for lambda equals six we went and we found an eigenvector um, that corresponds to right lambda equals six and so here we have it. The eigenvector 5, 1, when you multiply by A, we just get 6 times 5, 1. We were able to verify that. 
So now let's do the same thing for lambda equals negative two. Let's find a corresponding eigenvector for lambda equals for lambda equals negative two. Well, to do this, we have to set a minus negative two times i n as our matrix in the homogeneous equation. And then let's see, we can just say our original matrix was 3, 15, 1, 1. So 3, 15, 1, 1 minus 2 times 1, 0, 0, 1. Actually, this should be minus negative 2. Do you see? Because our lambda is negative 2. Be careful. Don't let that mess you up. What does that equal? Well, we're just, it looks like we're just adding 2 to the main diagonal. So we get 5, 15, 1, 3. So that's this matrix here. And so now we just have to find the solution, 5, 15, 1, 3, the solution V to the homogeneous equation like this, right? And we can do that by inspection. We see that this second column is three times the first column. So if we say V has entries three, negative one, then this would be satisfied. So V equals three, negative one. So here's our example. So if this whole by inspection thing is confusing you, um, don't click off the video just yet because this next part is a very straightforward way to find all the eigenvectors. Basically, we have to find a basis for each eigenspace. And so if you can't think it through by inspection, how you can get an eigenvector corresponding to each eigenvalue, then part C is very procedural and very straightforward. And so C um, might just be better. So We've found an eigenvector for each eigenvalue, six and negative two. And uh, now part C says find a basis for each eigenspace. And if you remember from the last video, an eigenspace is the collect, like uh, for example, the six eigenspace would be all the vectors that are eigenvectors of A with eigenvalue six. So let's go through and find that. All right, so for lambda equals six, we wanna find a basis for the six eigenspace. So we're gonna do a minus six i two times v equals zero. And uh, this is just a homogeneous equation. So we can say the null space of this matrix, right? The null space of this matrix here is gonna be the six eigenspace of just a. So we're gonna say, what is a minus six I2, well, we, we already found that, right? We get um, negative 3, 15, 1, negative 5, just plugging in, times V equals 0. And so all the vectors here that satisfy this equation are all the eigenvectors of A that have lambda equals 6 as their eigenvalue. And so if we find the null space of this matrix, all those vectors in the null space of this matrix are eigenvectors of A that have lambda equal to six. So then we can just, we know how to find the basis for the null space. We just plug in. So negative three, 15, one, negative five, or we don't just plug in. We, we put in an augmented matrix like this. We row reduce, we put the solution set in parametric vector form, and then we take those vectors in the linear combination, those form a basis for the null space. But then just the extra level here is that the null space of this matrix is the six eigenspace of just A. That's so important. <laughs> okay, so then we uh, we just row reduce. So this is row equivalent to one negative five zero, negative three fifteen zero, right? And then this is row equivalent to one negative five zero, zero zero zero. You gotta get a free variable because you have solved for lambda such that the determinant of a minus lambda i is zero, and if the determinant of that matrix is zero. That means that um, you got to have free variables by the invertible matrix theorem, right? So if you don't get a row of all zeros here, you messed up when you were calculating your eigenvalues. So now we can just write the solution set to this equation in parametric vector form. And we can say like V1 equals 5V2. And we can say V2 is a free variable, right? There's no pivot in this column. So V2 equals whatever we want it to be, V2. So then we can say our vectors V, our vectors V that are, satisfy this equation, which is this equation, are vectors that satisfy this equation, which we're about to write a basis for, um, are the eigenvectors of just A, right? And this 
if you're confused by that, we can scroll all the way up here, and it's by this equivalence here. The eigenvectors that satisfy this equation, or the, sorry, just the vectors that satisfy this equation are eigenvectors of A. And go back to the very first video on this mini-series, and we derive this equivalence. So scrolling back down, we can write in parametric form the solution set to this homogeneous equation, which is V2 times 5, 1. And so then a basis for the null space of this matrix, right, this matrix, we can say is um, just the vector 5, 1. Because the span of that vector is the null space, and then it's linearly independent, right? So a basis for the null space of A minus 6I2 is a basis for the 6 eigenspace of A, critically important. So basis for the six eigenspace of A is just this vector, right? It's the span of this vector. So the six eigenspace is a line passing through the vector 5, 1. So any scalar multiple of 5, 1 is going to be an eigenvector of A, right? An eigenvector of 3, 15, 1, 1 with an eigenvalue 6. All right, let's do the next one. For lambda equals negative 2, right? Just so you guys don't forget, our matrix A originally was 3, 5, 15, 1, 1. We found the eigenvalues of it. And now for lambda equals 2, we want to find a basis for the negative 2 eigenspace. We want to find a basis for the subspace that contains all eigenvectors of A with eigenvalue negative 2. And so let's do that. So how do we do that? First, we have to find A minus negative 2 I2 because a times v equals 2 times v that means a minus that means a v minus 2 times v equals 0 vector that means a v minus 2 i v equals 0 vector I just multiply by the identity matrix on both sides and that means a minus 2 i times v equals the 0 vector and so, and then like we don't know how to find V up here, but we know how to find V down here, and these are equivalent to each other. This top line and the bottom line are equivalent to each other. We just did algebra. And so we know how to find the vectors that are in the null space of this matrix. So let's do that. Let's find what this matrix is. So it's A minus 2 times I. So we're at the point we've done this a couple times. We can just do this in our heads. A minus 2 times identity matrix. We're just going to take 2 away. Oh, sorry, this should be a negative 2. Dang it. Negative 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Okay, hopefully you can forgive me for that. So we're just going to add 2 to each uh, entry on the main diagonal of A. So then this matrix here, A plus 2i, is 5, 15, 1, 3. And then we just got to find a, a basis for the null space of this vector, right? Because then um, the null space of this matrix, sorry, a basis for the null space of this matrix because the vectors in the null space of this matrix are in the are in the two eigenspace of A. How many times am I gonna say it? So I don't want to over explain it, but I also want to make sure that you guys are following. So how do we do that? Well, you find a basis for the null space of a matrix by putting it in a augmented matrix like this. And then row reducing. So let's row reduce. We get one, three, zero. 5, 15, 0, and then we can do row 2 equals row 2 minus 5 times row 1, and we'll get 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. Like I said, you better get a row of all zeros. You better get a free variable. Otherwise, you messed up calculating your eigenvalue. So then we can write the solution in parametric vector form. V equals negative 3, V1 equals negative 3, V2, and V2, there's no pivot in the V2 column, so the v2 is a free variable, so we can just say v2 equals whatever we want it to equal. So then our, our vectors, our eigenvectors, are v equals v2, so some scalar times negative 3, 1. So the negative 2 eigenspace, all the eigenvectors that have eigenvalue negative 2, is just consists of the span of this vector. So we can say a basis for the negative 2 eigenspace is just this vector, negative 3, 1. Meaning, 
we can take any scalar multiple of this vector, and that vector is going to be an eigenvector of a with eigenvalue uh, negative 2. And like we can check that. So like for example, one um, eigenvector that works would be negative 1 times this. So 3 and negative 1. And if we look up here, that's what we found by inspection earlier, but now we have this more rigorous way of finding it. So 3 negative 1 is an eigenvector, or is an eigen, yeah, an eigenvector of a with eigenvalue negative 2. All right, I don't want this video to get too long. Hopefully this process makes sense. The key part is, and like write this sentence down. This is so important. All right, let me find a good place to reference it. Let me find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, up here. Because of this equivalency, the, um, the null space of A minus lambda I N is the lambda eigenspace of A. Okay, you got to know that. That's crucial. All right, I'll see you in the next video.